Hello, this is question one from the Cambridge International Education exam series, summer 2020 paper 2-1. You can find a link in the description below this video that will give you an image of this question and I recommend you try it before looking at my solution. Okay, this question is about the binomial expansion. They ask us to find the coefficient of x squared of this expansion. Basically, they want to multiply this out. Now, I've seen students actually multiply this out. It, it would only take about uh, 10 minutes, I'd say, maybe a little less, too long to get the two marks that are available in this question. So please don't do that. We use the binomial expansion, which is um, when we have anything to the power of something here. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I'll get this off the top of my head, but n, n choose zero, so that's a complicated mathematical um, permutations and combinations. And it's the first term to the power of n and the next term to the power of zero. The next one is n and this goes up to one. The first term to the power of one less and the next term to the power of one more. And it continues on like this. And that way we can actually find every term in a binomial expansion. So even if this number was 100 and they asked this same question, something that a student could not do in the space of a, an exam, um, we could still answer this. Now, they're never usually that mean, or maybe it is more mean to give a, something that's doable. So we have to just think to ourselves, which term we'll give to the power of x. And so let's think this through, because it's the first term to the power of n. In this case, n is 6. So let's write some of these out. It's going to be x to the power of 6, and the next term, which the only thing that matters really is the x, the next term is going to be x to the power of 0, which is just 1. So that's fine. The first term is going to have an x to the power of 6. The next term, 1 less than this, it's going to have an x to the 5, and it's going to be divided by an x, because this will be to the power of 1, all of this. So it'll be 1x on the bottom. The next term will have an x4, and the bottom row will have this to the power of 2, which will make the bottom row to the power of 2. And this will continue on. Uh, let me do one more. Um, x to the 3 and the bottom will be x to the 3 and this will continue on uh, let me just separate that there I don't know what number is in front yet uh, so let's see the first term will have an x6 the next term will have an x4 the next term will have an x2 and the next term will just have some number some constant and the next one will have an x minus 2 even though I haven't shown it there so really you only have to have a slight understanding of this but you, you need to zone in on this one here, this term here. So the first term is 6 choose 0. The next term is uh, five, uh, 6 choose 1. The next term, the one we're interested in, this one here, the one we're interested in will be 6 choose, uh, sorry, 0, 1, 2. 6 choose 2. The first term to the power of, uh, let's see, 6, 5, 4. And the next term, which is minus 2 over x, don't forget the minus. Binomial expansion has a plus in it. So if there's a minus here, this is really plus minus something. So we keep that minus in there. So it's x to the power of um, 6 minus 2. And it's um, this to the power of the 2. And that's it. This is the x squared term. If we just do all this out. It's not as hard as it seems. Uh, we can put this on a calculator, it comes out as 15. Um, x, x to the power 4 multiplied by x to the power 2 should be there, my, my apologies. Uh, well, sorry, let me expand this out first because we do need to square this. Minus by minus, we get a plus. 2 by 2, we get a 4. Um, ah, that's why I didn't have an x squared there, my bad. x by x, we get an x squared. x to the power... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, an x squared. x to the power of 4 divided by x squared is x squared. And this is what they were asking for. What is this coefficient here? That's what the whole question asked. So 4 times 15 is 60. And that's, um, that's part A of this question asked. Uh, part B, I'll leave all this here because it's very related. In fact, I'll write out the question here because uh, I'll, I'll be able to talk about it and I'll be able to finish it over here. So it's 2 plus 3x squared multiplied by this here. 
x minus 2 over x to the power of 6. And it asks us, what is the coefficient of x squared again, when we do all this out? Because this will be a big old answer. Like This had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 terms in it, this will have. And we're going to multiply it by another 2. So this answer will have uh, quite a few terms. A lot of them will cancel, so I'm not really sure which ones will be there. So what ones are we interested? This is the binomial again. What num we're, We want to get out x squared again. So what ones are we interested in here? Well, 2 will multiply by everything in this. Just a normal number 2. So it's going to number, multiply by this 60x squared. Um, that's our answer there, 60. But 60x squared, 2 times 60x squared. So one of the answers, many answers in here will be 60 sorry, 2 multiplied by 60, uh, will be 120 x squared. So they want to know the coefficient in front of the x squared? Well, there's one, but will there be any more? And there will, because this 3x squared is going to multiply by something in here as well. If when it multiplies by this, not interested, too many x's. Multiplies by this, too many x's. Multiply by this, too many x's. But this 3x squared is going to multiply by some number here, 3 c x squared. I'm interested in that number. That number. So we need to go back to what we did in part one. But instead of find this term, I really want to find this one now. Because that's the only thing I'm missing. Um, we'll answer this question. All the other numbers, these multiply by anything in this, will get me things that aren't x squared. Right, I hope that was clear. So let's find this c guy. Uh, we'll just do the same thing here. We'll do 6, choose 3 this time because it's the third term. Uh, 6 choose 3, x to the power of 6 minus 3, and then minus 2 over x to the power of 3. And all that equals, 6 choose 3 is, I believe, 20. I had to look at the calculator. I just happened to have done it a few minutes ago. Uh, 20, let's see, x squared times x, sorry, x cubed times x divided by x cubed is 1. So that disappears. So we're really just left with this minus 2 to the power of 3. Minus by a minus by a minus is a minus. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this answer is minus 160, this um, coefficient here. So really the, co the final coefficient is just going to be 120 uh, three, uh, plus 3 times minus 160. And that's a uh, 200, uh, sorry, that's minus 480, which means the final answer is, oh sorry, minus 360. So that's the coefficient of the x squared. We don't have to do all the work, and I have seen students do all the work in questions that look just like this. They expand this out. It probably only takes like, if a, fa a student's fast and smart, five or six minutes. But if they're fast and smart, they probably know the quicker way here um, but some students probably have taken 10 minutes and th that means they miss out on other questions in the exam okay so i hope uh, you followed all of that if you didn't though put put a question in the comments below i'll do my best to answer you i'll do my best to clarify anything and uh hopefully you have a good day